Okay, so I did a video yesterday for Linux in Android, and uh, I figured I'd show you how to do it, how to install it. Uh, I'm installing this onto a Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gig, and uh, it's got a USB stick running Android. This is a 64 gig Samsung bar. You can use an SD card, it's absolutely fine. So let's switch over to screen capture. So first off, we need Lineage OS. Uh, this is a clean install of Lineage OS. So everything you need is in this video, how to set up and install Android 11. Uh, it, it tells you how to do it onto an SD card, an SSD, USB stick. You don't need to install the Google Play Store to be able to do Volks PC, but uh, it's pretty useful in Android. So if you plan to keep that version of Android, I would put the Google Play Store on it as well. Uh, but it's important to use Android 11, not the newer Android 12, which has just come out. Uh, Android 11 is the one that's compatible with Volks PC. So if we go back on the browser, and do a search for Volks PC. You can see it here. And if you click on installation, so the file we need is this one, Volks PC ARM64. So click on that. Okay, so it turns out you can't download it in the browser. I downloaded it on Linux when I did it before, uh, so I didn't get this message. If you install the Google Play Store, you can open it in the Mega app and it will take you to the Play Store, install it, and you can download it that way, or you can download it on any other device uh, and any other operating system. So let's go back to that page and get the bits that will install from here. So let's click on Home, and we need to head to the Raspberry Pi bit. You can see here, these are the Android APKs that bring Linux desktop functionality to the Raspberry Pi 4. So if we click on that and allow and download. So now we drag down from the top left hand side, we'll see that it should be downloading. Yeah, you can see it's downloading there. So if I click home and drag up from the bottom, you can see I've got files here and downloads. And there's the one we just downloaded. Double click on that to unzip it. So if we right click on desktop APK and copy, click on downloads, right click and paste. And we'll do the same with the other one. So right click on installer and copy, click on downloads, right click and paste. So now we click on desktop APK, double click it and continue and install. So that's done, hit done. Then we do installer, continue, install, and done. So now we need to go back to that web page. See it on the left here. So if we go back in the browser to the ordinary Google search, here we go, and type in Magisk. Here we go, magismanager.com. Click on that. So version 23 is the one we want. So here's the app. There you go, and download. And we can drag down from the top left to see that download. There you go, download complete. So we need to allow installation from unknown apps. Uh, so we go to settings, it's just a tab. Then we go back and install. And done. And let's go back to the home screen. And you'll see that we've got a few things on here now. We've got this desktop, the installer and Magisk. So next up, we need uh, that original file, which is about a gigabyte file. Uh, if you've managed to, in to download it by uh, using the Mega app within Android because you've got the Google Play Store, I haven't installed the Google Play Store on this. So I've got it downloaded onto a USB stick. You can use any operating system for that. So I'll pop my USB stick in, drag up from the bottom, open the Files app, and my USB stick shows up. So you can see here, that was the image, Volks PC image. So I need to put that in the downloads folder. So let's drag it over to downloads. And it will take a while and you can see it copying over by dragging down. Here you are, like 33 seconds left. 
it would have been quicker if I'd have plugged it in the USB 3. But sometimes when you plug in too many USB 3 devices or storage devices in a Pi, it can crash the system. So I'm using USB 2 because it uses a little bit less power and I'm not worried about how long it takes. Okay, so that's all done. Now we need to boot to recovery. So let's go to the home screen, click on settings, scroll down to system, advanced, gestures, power menu, and advanced restart. Need to turn that on and go back home. So now we need to head to Consta Kang's page. So type in Consta Kang and you can click on the Pi 4 one. And we want Lineage OS 18.1 Android 11. Scroll down and we're looking for Magisk. If you're using this on a desktop computer, you can uh, search in page and it's a lot quicker. Here we are, we need this one here, Lineage 18.1. So another download, pick your closest mirror and download. And again, drag down from the top. It's only a small download. So we now need to go into recovery. So function and F5 and restart and then recovery. And it starts up with this screen. Swipe to allow modifications. So I left click and drag. Install. Downloads. Lineage 18.1 that we've just downloaded. And swipe to confirm. And now we can reboot into system. Okay, so that's restarted, so let's drag up from the bottom and click on Magisk. So you can see here requires additional setup, your device needs additional setup, so we'll say OK. And it's going to reboot, you can see it down the bottom here. So now if we drag up from the bottom and uh, we're going to try the desktop bit, so you can see this will launch and we'll say allow. And if we try to install Volks PC distribution, it should give us a message about root. So I'm going to say grant. And we'll say wait. This is a different experience to I had. Uh, I had to go into Magisk and uh, enable this initial app, but for some reason it's allowed it to do it. And I think it's probably because I installed Magisk before doing the Volks PC bit. So we'll see what happens, but I think that probably is it. Okay, so nearly done, 97%. Volks PC installation complete. So let's start Volks PC desktop, and hopefully that's a lot easier than the way I did it before. There you go, so it's starting up properly now. And once the desktop arrives, uh, then it's working properly. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, there's a little bit of mouse lag, but uh, I'm not overclocked and also haven't lowered the resolution. So let's do both of those things. So if I close this out, Actually, I can just press Android. I keep forgetting. So I press Android. I wonder if I can just close the app as normal. So let's close Linux down. And you can also, if you go all the way over to the right, you get a clear all option. So you can clear out all the apps if you want to. So let's drag up and go to settings. Scroll down to the bottom. System. Advanced. Scroll down to the bottom. Advanced settings. You can see the Raspberry Pi logo. And resolution, I'm going to drop down to 720, which I often do for games on Android anyway. And I'm also going to change the clock speed to 2 gigahertz. Okay, so function F5. And I'm going to restart that to system. And it mentions on the Vox PC site that you can do this to almost any Android phone. So you can add Linux to pretty much any Android phone. So it's almost like a sort of DeX type system. And I would imagine on the much more powerful phones, it would perform pretty well. Uh, it's performing pretty well on the, on the Raspberry Pi, but a lot of flagship phones are way more powerful than a Raspberry Pi. So let's launch Linux again. Let's drag up, go to desktop, start Volks PC desktop. And I think it started quicker. It feels a bit more snappy already. Uh, so let's go for terminal. I wonder if Control-Alt-T works. It does. Uh, so, I think I've already put NeoFetch on here. 
No, I haven't. So sudo apt. Oh, that was on the other installation. Install NeoFetch. Password is desktop, was it? Is it the desktop or root? Yeah, desktop works. And do you want to continue? Yes. So NeoFetch. And here we can see that the overclock has worked and it is running at two gigahertz. You can see the memory usage of my eight gig Pi 4. So let's install a few other things. So let's try C of X Moto shows up on here. Or oh, looks like it might. Okay, looks like that worked. So let's see if it shows up in games. It does. Photo execute. No such file or directory. Okay, maybe I need to restart. Uh, but let's try a few other things. So sudo apt install rpi-imager. Obviously there's a lot of things already installed on here. I uh, didn't find that. Let's go for gparted. So that's found. Don't know how gparted will work with this being within Android, but it'll be interesting to see what, what drives it picks up. I've still got my USB stick that I added the large Linux file from. So let's go, let's go down here and what's it going to be under accessories? So it comes up under systems, look. But you've got loads of other things there. Synaptic Package Manager would be another way of installing things. I'll try that in a second. Not sure if Gparted is launching. Yeah, it didn't seem to launch Gparted. Just try that one more time. System, Gparted. No, let's try that Package Manager then. Where was it? System. Synaptic Package Manager. There you go, let's try this, block out two. Right click, mark for installation. Apply. And apply. It's found the ARM64 version. Might as well close that down. Let's close down the terminal and have a look in games and see if it's shown up. Yeah, block out two. Oh, look. No such file or directory. Right, okay, I'm going to restart it and see if that makes the difference. It's weird because obviously loads of these things are on here. I mean, I haven't tried anything like LibreOffice Writer, but I'm assuming they all work as they're already pre-installed. Yeah, see, all of that looks all as it should. Uh, and if I was to select it, and let's make it bigger. There you go. So, let's try restarting. Okay, so that's restarted. Desktop. There's one thing I wanted to try out as well, is that you can copy and paste between operating systems. Uh, so, I'm going to try that. So, if we go, uh, say for instance we try the Android browser. So, this opens up in Android. And we'll do a search for... I'll do a search for 1080 wallpaper, even though I'm using 720, it will still work. I've used this one before in a previous video. Do I right click in Android? No. Left click and hold. If I visit the page maybe, continue in Chrome. There we go, that would do, we've got a Squid Game wallpaper. Let's see if we can save that. Is it share to save? I don't know why I'm not doing this in Linux. Let's just do this in Linux, let's do it the other way around. So copy that. Go back into Linux. Then we can use the Firefox web browser that's in here. We'll pop that address in. Well, that's showing the copy and paste anyway, because that's copied it from Android into Linux, which is cool. Let's right click on that. So I've got a save option down here. So if I click that, what happens? Oh, this is usually easier to uh, save an image. Let's try somewhere else. Uh, as it's on Reddit, maybe that's why it won't work. So, ah, this one will do. So if I right click on that, there we go. Save image as. This might not be the 1080 one, but I'm just doing it sort of a, for a proof of concept. So that's gonna save it into downloads. Yeah, show all downloads, 191 kilobyte. Might be 1080. Right click it, will it let me do it as wallpaper? In fact, that will show me how big it is as well. Image, yeah, 1920 by 1080. So right click, set as wallpaper. And is there a show desktop down here? Or if I go to this, this will be multiple desktops. Yeah, 
very nice. So now if I go back into the file system, so if I copy that, what happens if I then go into Android and try and paste it into there, into the files app? So drag it from the bottom, click on the files app, pop it in the documents folder maybe. Ah, so no paste there. So you do have some sort of copy and paste options, but it doesn't seem to work in the files app. Let's go back into Vox PC and uh, just try that Tetris game again now that I've restarted it. Yeah, it doesn't like it, no such file or directory. Okay, need to look into that. But uh, I'm still very impressed with it. It's, it's amazing that it works in this. And also, the fact that you can add it to a mobile phone sounds really interesting. So I might try that on my Samsung Galaxy S8, uh, which has already got DeX on it. But it'd be nice to have full Linux on it. Anyway, I hope this helped. Hope you liked it. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.